All right, so I, I'm recording this video right after the one they just watched. Um, when I did legs, I just finished doing legs. Um, so I decided to rearrange all my stuff here and decided to show you what I actually have and what I work with. Um, this is pretty much everything uh, that I work out with, except for the only thing that you can't see is uh, my pull-up bar, which is there. It's not one of those that you can remove. It's not one of them portable ones. Uh, I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, other than that, uh, this is pretty much it. And I'll show you what I have and what I currently use. And perhaps I'll tell you what I'm not going to be using uh, for a while. At least in, in the near future, we're not going to be using this for a while. Um, let's start with uh, this 25 pound dumbbell. Um, you have not seen this one yet. Uh, <laughs> I've, all of this stuff I've had it for <laughs> about 12 years, maybe 10, 11. Uh, 25 pound dumbbell. I only have one of this. <laughs> um, the other day I was doing triceps, uh, kickbacks. Um, I'm gonna be doing kickbacks with a single hand from this point on, and I will start with this. Um, I wouldn't use it if I didn't have it. Since I have it, this is what I'm gonna be using. Um, other than that, my regular dumbbells which I can load with whatever weight I want have been working more than perfect. Um, so one dumbbell, 25 pounder, um, you're gonna be seeing it more. This is something that I haven't used uh, recently but I'll be using soon. Um, moving on, um, well, gloves. You've seen my gloves. I use them even when I do abs <laughs> or when I do legs. Um, I, these are just some cheap gloves. They nothing special about them. I just like wearing gloves for some reason. Um, make my hands feel better, even though I still get uh, the evidence that I'm lifting weights. Um, I have two of this. 40 pound, uh, 45 pounds. Uh, yeah, these are heavy. Two of this. Um, usually, these stay on this bar right here um, for barbell presses. Um, I'm not gonna be using this bar nor these weights uh, from. Well, you haven't seen me using them much lately, but I'm not gonna be using them in a while until further notice. Um, so mainly that's what it's used for if you watch my videos you'll see them hanging over here on the ends uh, not being used <laughs> uh, so I have two of those <laughs> let's see right under all this stuff I have two of the 35 pounds um, I use them mainly for legs, for leg day. Actually, you probably saw them on today on today's video, or on the video that I just recorded today. I don't know if it's gonna be public. These two videos are gonna be published today or not. But um, so I have two of those 35s. I mainly use those for leg day. Um, I also use them for uh, tricep extensions. Uh, I'll probably show you a video, put your video on one of those when I'm work, doing that workout. I have two of those. Uh, I use them fairly. And I'll continue using those. Uh, this, these are all ten pounders, and I have six of them. Um, I use this a lot. I use um, they're usually uh, one on each end of this uh, dumbbells. Uh, usually, always load in there, and. They get used a lot, not just for arms, but also for, for chest, uh, for shoulders, you name it, pretty much all the workouts that I do are with the dumbbells, which I use, and I will continue using until further notice. Um, so, these two, just like, I mean, this six, just like this two, are part of my 
current inventory and I will continue using on a regular daily basis. Um, moving on to this other, say my big pile over here, these are my 25 pounders. Um, I have six of them. Um, I use, usually use this 25 pounders now on this Z barbell here. Um, you don't have to have one of this, uh, but in my case, I bought it because of my tendonitis and my elbows. This is way better for your tendons. Uh, so I bought it. Um, it works out for me very well. I'm trying to find a, I'm trying to find a piece that I had before I moved. Um, I don't have it. I probably lost it. We'll have to go back to uh, the store and buy it. But um, I used to do uh, cab races with this. I don't do it anymore because of that part but um, other than that this is a pretty good tool and I use it on a regular basis especially when I do arms <laughs> actually only when I do arms right now with usually that is usually loaded with one of each one of these 25 pounders on each side I have six of them right now I'm only using two maybe three or four I'm not using all of them but this will continue being on my daily, on my regular usage um, as of now. Anyway, uh, you one of these days are gonna see me using these 25 pounders on these dumbbells. Uh, but that's in the future. Who knows when that's gonna be? And of course, the little trustees, <laughs> uh, the five pounders. Um, I have, man, I have eight of them. That's good. Uh, I wish I had more. <laughs> I wish I had more of this. So I have eight of them. Um, I usually use them for um, arm day or shoulder day, back day as well. Um, same as this. Um, now I just don't use this as much as I use this ones because this ones give me the ability of taking or adding weight and not extreme amounts so you'll see it you'd probably see it as five pounds but when you put five pound on one side and five pound on the other that makes a ten and let's say that's one hand on a dumbbell and then you add ten pounds on the other one we're talking about twenty pounds so weight adds up quickly uh in little amounts especially when you are a beginner like me it's awesome all right so all this weight <laughs> is on the bench that you've seen in the channel um nothing special about it i use it mostly flat alternative so there's always an alternative for every workout uh the bench just like everything else here it's been with me for at least at least 11 years um you can see some of this stuff gets it's rusty some of it is not some of it but still uh, holding its um rigidity and still good still good stuff in, even with the years so uh, you can buy stuff now and which by the way you go to <laughs> to the store you're not gonna find weights i don't know where they were uh, so I went, I went to the to Walmart to see if I could buy some more five pounders. I went to other stores and hey, not that there are many stores open right now. Can't find them. Can't find anything. Can't find anything. Um. So the only place that you can probably find them is Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace right now. And people are asking too much money for this stuff. Um, right over here, have a bunch of this clamps they go there to secure the weight so this don't just fall off <laughs> when you're lifting I have a bunch of them uh, most of them are the same um, I have a couple oops. Yeah, I have a couple that are bent like this these two are usually on on the barbell here um, if I had two more of this, they would probably be 
on my dumbbells. Uh, just because I hate that thing sticking out. I hate that thing sticking out and hitting on my legs or my shoulders when I'm working out. Uh, that's probably one of the things I don't like about my dumbbells. It's these things. So that's probably the one thing I don't like. Um, so when I first started buying these things, I always liked this because when I went to the gym, this is what the gym actually had. I was like, yeah, I want some professional grade stuff when I get it. And this is what I got. It works out. The only thing is, this thing is uncomfortable sometimes. Uh, would I rather have a bunch of dumbbells? The answer is no. <laughs> uh, have you moved lately? <laughs> it's This is just a little bit stuff and it is a pain to move all this stuff. When you move to one place to another, oh man, it's insane. Um, the only thing I will probably change is uh, get the other ones, the other um, type of dumbbells that have the small hole that you can just screw. I'll show you, put a picture on the screen. Uh, if That would probably be the only one thing I would have changed, but at the same time, I don't think I would change anything about anything I've done before with this stuff. Uh, but you can't go wrong with weight. Uh, Dumbbells, I think that's all the basics that you would need. It's dumbbells and different weights or dumbbells like this or like the ones on the screen. That you can uh, change the weight, add weight, remove weight and so on and so forth. Uh, and then comes to this little thing. <laughs> you probably wonder what the heck is that. Uh, this is a little piece of wood that I put on the floor. I don't know if you saw the video that I posted, uh, the one I just finished recording. Um, now I'm looking for something to step on. This is what I step on. <laughs> uh, I could have used a 2x4, but this is good enough. I only need to raise a little bit. So for calf raises, this is what I use. This is what I stand on. And this is my calf raises. Uh, it could be shorter, doesn't have to be this long, but since it is already this long and it fits and it works for me, so why not just use it as it is. Um, and then this thing came with the bench. Well, I'm gonna be removing it, so you're not gonna be seeing it probably next week. You know, I'm seeing it, but all this is gonna be looking different, and I'm gonna be changing. The format of the videos. Um, uh, you're probably wondering what that thing is. Uh, I don't think you can see it on the screen there. I'll show you a picture of that. You can probably see it on my videos. Uh, that is best that you put weight on it and you're supposed to run with it and get stronger, Goku style. <laughs> uh, not so good anymore. I don't. I didn't use it. I haven't used it in years. I probably used it like twice or three times. Years. Um, other than that, um, uh, the bench, uh, the only feature that the bench has, you probably saw on my leg days, um, is that it can be used for extensions. Um, you can work out your legs without using this part. It's just easier for me because I have uh, bad knees. My knees are not so good for playing soccer. I don't let your kids play soccer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you want to let your kids play soccer, it helps you. Anyway, for playing soccer, my knees suck. And this is what I use to work out my legs. I'm probably not going to be as strong as I want to be with my legs, as far as my legs. Uh, but hey, it works for me. Uh, not skipping leg day. Never skip leg day. Uh, squats. Uh, and I have a bad back. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do squats with no weight uh, just to just to warm up or something, but uh, I can't do squats. I can't do deadlifts. Uh, I could probably do deadlifts, but I'll leave that to the professionals. Anyway, 
uh, deadlifts. You need to have someone there to teach you how to do deadlifts. Um, it's really easy to screw up doing deadlifts. So I'm here by myself. I don't try it because if I fall, I'm on the ground. There's nobody to come help me. <laughs> so I just don't do it and leave it as that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, next time you see my video is gonna be probably different. Uh, I'm not sure about being doing. I'm not sure if it's, I'm gonna be doing something different. The videos are gonna be different. Uh, the whole layout is gonna be different. Well, it's gonna be still in the same room. Just uh, you're not gonna be seeing this part with this, and it's gonna be. Yeah. Alright, hope you like the video and if you got gather something important or informative about this, if you want to start working out, start working out, don't wait for the perfect day, don't wait for Monday, wait for day one, not the first day of the month, day one, today's day one, alright, see ya.